Hey guys, Min here. Welcome back to Your House Fitness. Today, we're going to go over a rack pull. A rack pull is essentially a variation of a deadlift. It can be done from a multitude of ways. Um, a rack pull usually implies it's done in a squat rack or a power rack, and there are different heights you can work with with the rack pull. Um, typically speaking, when you're doing a rack pull, it is the top half of a deadlift usually, done off of either pins or off of blocks. When you're doing your rack pull, you're going to reduce your range of motion quite a bit, which allows you to actually lift way more than your actual deadlift max. I remember only being able to pull like 300 off the floor, but I was getting close to 400 on rack pulls quite easily. Um, but this also depends on how high your rack pull is. You know, the more range of motion you reduce, the more weight you can lift, but you're going to sacrifice some hypertrophy because of it because sometimes you just might end up doing little couple inches on uh, on your rack pulls and that's not ideal necessarily for getting sufficient muscle growth so when i uh, suggest rack pull i typically recommend below the knee and anywhere right above the knee so lower thigh all right or right where your quadricep tendon is from these positions here you can get a decent balance of range of motion while also being able to get a lot more load than usual. We got an empty bar here. Uh, our pin is a little, set up is a little scuffed, I'm not gonna lie, but that's because I'm so short that we had to drop it way lower than we need to. In this case, this is a very high rack pull. This is above my knee, and I can probably lift way more weight than I can off of the floor from here. When you're doing your rack pull, most of your deadlift cues are the exact same. So if you're a conventional lifter, feet, knees, or right under your hip, and your hands are just long and parallel with each other and close to the floor. All right, so I'm missing my rack pull setup. I get into the position, and from here, I don't really have to drive my legs hard, but it can help, but this is gonna mostly be a hip extension motion. So I'm in position, I get a little leg drive, I take a very deep core brace, I get my lats engaged, I drive my legs, extend my hips, and I just bring it down. Just like that. Obviously, like I said, you can do this below the knee, at the knee, right? I say if you get it below the knee, you're gonna need a lot more leg drive compared to the above the knee version. Now, why would you also do a rack pull over a regular deadlift? You get less range of motion. It can kind of be like an ego lifting exercise, right? But it really comes down to your intentions with the rack pull. I won't be necessarily used to be using the rack pull to strengthen my one rep max on my deadlift per se. I'm gonna use the fact that I can lift a lot more weight to actually strengthen my upper body. My lats have to work so much harder to keep the bar pinned against my thighs. Additionally, more lat engagement will help you improve your core brace since your lats attach to your thoracal lumbar fascia. That's your uh, weightlifting belt given by nature, as some people would say. Um, that, with your core brace and your lat tuck, will create so much stability on your lifts. So, if you guys got a pin set up, you got a barbell, and you want to try out rack pulls, go ahead.